As you can see by the iconic logo on the down tube, Husqvarna are officially in the e-bike world. This is the first time we've had one of their bikes to test here at the magazine. Blake's been ripping around on it for a little while now. This is the HC5 or Hard Cross uh, model uh, in their lineup. It's a big burly bike, there's no denying that. So Blake, give us a run through. What are some of the sort of key figures of this bike? The HC5 features 170 millimeters of rear travel and a 180 millimeter fork on this bike taken care of by some uh, Fox factory gear. Um, comes out of the box as a mullet, so 27.5 rear wheel, which I'm getting along with very nicely, as we all know. Not the tallest bloke, so I like the, the smaller back wheel, easier sort of, sort of maneuver and that kind of thing. Um, obviously, we've got like a really nice overall spec on this bike, MT7 brakes by Magura, X01 drivetrain, and um, yeah, this thing is an absolute burly beast. Mate, tell us a bit about the frame. It looks like it's full alloy, but it's got some really nice lines going on there. Yeah, so it's aluminium construction um, throughout the whole thing. So she's um, nice and strong, stiff where you want it to be. Um, it's got a very, very nice linkage system on it. It doesn't look like anything too crazy, but the way that the suspension actually performs down the trail, this thing absolutely eats up the rough stuff. Well, we'll get onto that in a second. Let's just finish off on the other key parts of so the motor. What are we talking? Battery, what are we talking? Yeah, so we've got a Shimano EP8 uh, set up with a 720 watt hour battery. So nice middle of the range uh, battery capacity. And as we all know, that 85 Newton meter tried and true uh, Shimano motor, mm. which um, yeah, they've got a, got a really nice mounting system. Obviously, um, battery and motor are nice and low down in the frame. So yeah, the weight feels balanced throughout the bike and is nice and low as well. Perfect, yeah, it's definitely a wicked looking package. So, now you mentioned before it rides nicely. You've had this bike for a few weeks now and yep. you've ridden, we're you know, at the very top of the mountains today, you've ridden it down close to your place. Yeah. A uh, variety of different trails. So sort of how does it perform? It's, it's a burler. It's a really burly bike. It doesn't have like, some, it doesn't have any super slack geometry or it's not really long. It's kind of middle of the road, maybe a little bit conservative on the geometry front for a longer travel bike that is. Um, but I found that to be really, really useful because we, we've got pretty diverse trails up in the mountains. Like we do have some really steep stuff. We've got the flatter stuff. Nothing's particularly high speed, um, but for a long travel bike, it's super maneuverable. Um, and it's very, very fun. Like obviously it's, it's a full weight sort of e-bike. So it does have a bit of heft behind it, mm. but it's tracks really nicely um, through the rough stuff. Mm. Like we've got, you know, lately we haven't had heaps of rain. So the trails are pretty flogged out really to be dry. honest. Um, and yeah, it just still tracks got, really nicely. And you still got all the power from that big EP8 motor. Exactly. So even yeah. with a little bit of heft, you're still being able to self-shuttle. Absolutely, to the every day of the week. Wicked. So tell us, what sort of rider do you reckon Husky are going to aim this bike out of? What sort of rider is going to get the most out of the HC5? With such a long travel, um, you know, this thing really does fall into like that self-shuttle downhill bike sort of category. Yeah. Um, like if you're doing longer sort of trail rides or anything like that, Husky do have other size, sizes of bike, like different travel options and that yeah. kind of thing, um, which we'll be touching on in the coming months. But yeah, the uh, the HC5 really does fall into the, you know, self-shuttle downhill sort of model. Now, as we said, pretty impressive package from Husqvarna, Absolutely. that's for sure. We're gonna be holding off this bike for another month or so, and then we're gonna be swapping over and checking out some of their other models, as Blake alluded to. So yeah, Husqvarna, a brand that we're really excited to be partnering with, and you're gonna see a lot more of here at the magazine and across on our YouTube channel. So be sure to give uh, give that a like and, uh, and follow for plenty more.